colors, am I right? I think I've said this before in my uh, painting my furniture video, but I really like painting, but I don't actually know that much about it. It's just with every arts and crafts related thing that I do, it's just um, art supplies and pain and chaos. I just no plan, head empty, just paint. So I thought, why not for once actually take the time and learn at least one crucial part of painting? Colors. Very nice, because right now I would probably think that, I don't know, choosing red for a children's hospital might not be the best idea. But then again, what do I know? I mean, it's it's basic color theory. Red stands for energy and power and leadership. You know, I'm just not quite there yet at this kind of level of geniusness. So I have bought this wonderful sketchbook with, I think, 132 pages. It didn't say how many pages there are in here. I counted them and then I immediately forgot how many I counted. So this is already off to a great start, but I'm going to fill this sketchbook with 100 sketches and paints and paintings and studies, or rather 99 paintings and sketches and studies, because in the end, once my brain is very big and full of color and knowledge. And then I want to paint one big epic painting and use everything that I've learned. Yes, very nice. Again, I don't know anything about colors. So step number one, research. I'm going to read now and watch some videos and then I need to actually do some painting. Yay. I have gained so much knowledge. Wow, okay. I've done an, about two hours of reading and watching videos and because I have the brain of a goldfish, I'm already starting to forget what I've actually learned. So I think it's time to do some actual art. I have come to the conclusion. What did I do? I have come to the conclusion that there are three things, main things that I need to learn. So I forgot the word that I need and I also just got a scam message. So that's always very nice. Divide, that's the word I needed. Okay, I, I divided this whole painting learning thing into three phases. Phase one, values. That's the first thing I'm going to learn. One of the exercises I have from this book thing I have is this. So you just take a simple object and then paint it using only three values. So black, white, and gray. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I need to find a simple object. I don't want to use an apple because they use an apple and I, I want to use my own thing. So um, let's find a simple object now. I have found the pumpkin. It's fake. It's not a real pumpkin. But I think this um, is kind of perfect for what I want to do. So this is my apple now and I'm going to paint this using only black, white and gray with different lighting scenarios. Okay, let's get to painting. Yay, I'm going to sketch this now. Ooh, okay. Okay, I have now sketched four pumpkins and I kind of want to do a few more various studies like this, but I think I need a new thing now. So I went in my, into my room and looked for a new object. <laughs> Remember him <laughs> from last video. I'm still not over how amazing he is, but he's going to help me with my value studies now. Okay, I have now made 13 or 12 black and white pencil sketches and I think I'm ready to graduate to the next level where I will actually use colors because this is color theory. Oh my god. I found this website called artismycareer.com where they have a free image reference library and I'm going to just take some simple scenes or object reference pictures from there and then I'm going to paint them in monochromatic color schemes. So I'm going to use only one color and just try to get the values right because we're still Still not done with values yet. Maybe after this I should take an English class. That would maybe be a good idea, but for now it's colors. Phase one is complete. Say, say hello to my birds. 
I've released them from their prison. But yes, phase one is complete where I wanted to focus on value and saturation and that stuff. And I have made 32 or rather 31 painting studies because the first thing I did was just paint a little color wheel with the watercolors. And I completely tangled up the microphone cord with my tripod. Nice. So I just started out with this because I thought it was uh, uh, fitting. That's, that's the only reason why. And then I started with just some value sketches where I took a little object and kind of analyzed it using only black, gray and white. And I did a bunch of those. And then I took some, some photos my brother took and analyzed those. And then I started using actual color, but I started with a monochromatic color scheme. I just wanted to focus on the value. So I just used one color to make it kind of easier for me. Did a few studies with that, a few digital, a few with watercolor, a few with acrylics until this point. And then I started using multiple colors and these i really love these i think these turned out really really good so until this point i think i got a lot better at value here's how they look in black and white and i think i managed to like do the value good yes my english skills are like up there but yeah i've kind of realized that i really enjoy drawing apples so maybe i will just do that from now on and never draw draw something else ever again did a few digital ones leaves here i realized that combining red and green is kind of hard i don't really get these colors i think this is just way too saturated in general so i did this with acrylics and then i did this with watercolors and i think the one with watercolors turned out way better than the one with acrylics and then it started to get worse again i did this orange and this was supposed to be a I forgot the word but this yeah not that great so here yeah, it started again getting progressively worse so i think it is now time to concentrate on something else i think i've got the values down i i think probably so it is time for phase two and phase two is light and shadow so light and shadow studies Slap sketchbook. This bad boy can fit like five light studies in it because I kind of ran out of ideas of what I could sketch out. But um, I started with a watercolor light and this is supposed to be like, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. It's a, yes, we don't talk about that. Then I made two digital ones and I do like them. They kind of don't look great printed out, but once I finished all the hundred paintings, then I will do an entire sketchbook tour and then I will insert these digitally because my print hasn't printing candle with acrylics this is also painted digitally and also looks way better digitally than it does print out but i really like this one this was a picture my brother took and i did a little painting study of that two apples cold light warm shadow warm light cold shadow you know how it goes we also don't talk about this i used pastels whatever they're called again and i don't get them i also don't get green this is okay this didn't happen and then i did two cylinders digitally again warm light cold shadow cold light warm shadow my printer also did not do these justice but you will see them in the end in their entire glory okay and now it's time for the last phase for learning some different color schemes i have 50 six painting studies left to do before i can make the with the grand final painting and i want to dedicate these to learning different color schemes so i'm going to take seven simple scenes whatever paint them eight times with eight different color schemes the eight, these these right here with these and then i have 99 paintings so let's do that now I have now completed my color scheme studies and I have not made 99 painting studies yet because I want to use the rest of the painting studies I need to do to make value sketches and to get some color scheme ideas for the, the big painting that I want to do in the end. But before we get to that, let me quickly show you what crimes I committed. These are the first ones I made. I made these with watercolor. I really like those. I think my favorite color scheme is the triadic color scheme and I really also just like these colors. And neutral is kind of fun. I don't think I'm going to use 
use neutral for the painting but yeah i think this is my favorite in general so i really like these i like these made these digitally don't like these used acrylics for these and i really didn't know what i was doing i like some of these but mostly they are also bad but that's fine and then i made some more digital ones that i haven't put in my little sketchbook yet but i also like these so now i'm at 83 painting studies that means i have 17 left because the 100th painting is the the big one so i have 16 slots left for planning the great epic finale so Behold my painting. I call this light. Okay, I now need to think of something I want to paint. I definitely do want some light filtered through trees because I just think that looks nice. Um, there's a, the, a photo I took two years ago on a hike and I think I'm going to use that as kind of reference and inspiration because I am really bad at perspective and also really bad at thinking of ideas or scenes. Um, those are two skills that I still need to learn, and but th those are like two video videos of their own. So we are going to work with the reference today. I probably won't copy it exactly, especially not the colors, because I want to use my own color scheme, because this is the whole point of the video, that I learned colors. But I am going to take it as an, inspir as an inspiration. It's a, it's a photo I took in a forest, and it looks really nice. I just need to find it amongst my million pictures of either my horses, my birds, or my cat, because those are like the only pictures I have on my phone. There it is. Okay, it's a forest. I think it's a nice picture. There's some some great light stuff going on. I'm going to now make a few thumbnail sketches and I'm not going to count these to the 16 painting studies I have left because that has nothing to do with color. But once I then have decided on what exactly to paint, I am then going to make some value sketches and then I'm going to choose the color scheme because even though I usually just work with no plan at all. I kind of have learned that with painting, I do get a better outcome when I kind of have an idea in my head. So let's plan what we are going to do with this nice and empty canvas now. Okay, let me show you the plan. First of all, over here are the most beautiful thumbnail sketches you have ever seen. You can't even really see them because it's too bright in here, but I have decided to do a scene like this. There's a little road, a little path right here, and then a hill, it's on a hill, and there are a bunch of trees. Yes, yeah, I made a little value sketch, and then I painted a few color scheme ideas. These are the first two, the nose, I made 15. And now I can't decide which one I want to paint. I asked my family which ones were their favorites and they all told me completely different answers. So that didn't really help. I have a few favorites myself. I really like this, but this is just normal forest colors. And I think that's a bit boring. This is also one of my favorites. I like this. And then I also like this and this and this. I think I have a slight favorite and that's this one. I like it. I think I'm going to choose this one. So now we have to get this onto here. Yay. My setup is very professional, very nice. We got my, my canvas and this thing. I don't know what it's called. We got it right here, just standing in my room in front of my door. And then I have a bunch of random stuff on the floor again. And my little table that's usually next to my bed. This is way too small, but we will manage. Um, you don't need a very big night and nice studio to paint to create beautiful things. You just need a lot of determination. Okay, let's start actually painting. I'm kind of nervous. Let's go. I present to you orange. I started with a layer of orange because I want my scene to feel really warm. So I started with a warm color and I realized that you couldn't see a thing because I was standing directly in front of the camera. So now I have to figure out where to put you guys. Maybe if I do this, rise my children. Okay, up to this point I was actually kind of confident that I can manage this and I can make a nice painting, but now I, I'm not sure anymore because you don't know how often I had like a very nice beautiful idea in my head and then I tried to paint it and it looked like a garbage can. One of the big problems always was color and we learned color this week so surely it'll be fine.
So I have now made some kind of color layout. I'm going to show you in a second. I don't want to show you because right now it, it looks really bad because I started painting with one idea in mind and then I then halfway I kind of changed my mind about how I want this to look. So now it kind of looks like a first grade. I painted this. There it is. Very ugly. But uh, how do you say? What do every artist say? Trust the process. <laughs> one thing I, I want I need to do is I need to think smaller I think because right now I just green here, purple there, orange and that's it but like that's not how color works so yeah i'm i'm going to start working more detailed now and then hopefully i can fix this Good evening. <laughs> I am on the floor. What do you say to that? I'm on vacation right now for a few days, but I took the painting with me because I want to finish this within a reasonable amount of time. So I took it with me. The easel didn't fit into my car though. That's why we are on the floor today. It's floor time now. Quick update on how I feel about this painting. I think that it's actually starting to turn out really, really nice. I think this might turn out to be proof that trust the process is real. It is done. 100 paintings dedicated to learning color theory. Check. Actually learning color theory? Sort of check. <laughs> Before I give you my final thoughts and also my thoughts on the painting I made, let's first of all take a look at all the 100 things I made. Time for the reveal.
this is it. This is the painting. This took way too long and I didn't even paint that many details. But yeah, wh what what do I think? I think I have mixed feelings about this. It doesn't really have a focal point and as I said, not very detailed. That was due to time issues. I'm already way over my schedule. Um, but everything's fine. But we were here today to learn color theory and I think I kind of nailed that part. The background maybe is a little bit too saturated. The orange was supposed to be kind of the supporting color. Maybe it's a little bit too present. I don't know but I think overall the color works very well so success. I mean you can look at this painting and you don't have to immediately wash your eyes with holy water so I think that's at least something. I don't know. It's not a masterpiece but I think it's cute. I think the color works pretty well so I think that's that's very nice and also it's just a painting that I've actually finished. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's one thing I really like about making these videos because they force me to actually commit to something. Because usually I start painting something and then I don't like how it's starting to look and then I get scared and intimidated and I want to hide in a corner and never look at the thing that I've started uh, to make again for all eternity. So that's also just very nice success. Um, good job to me. Values? I think the values, I, I think I've done an okay job with that. Here's how it looks in black and white. Good, yes. Yeah, I think that's that's uh, all right. Anything else I want to say to to my child? I had fun. <laughs> I don't really paint that much because painting scares me, but um, it's fun. Do I think I did learn something about color theory? Yes. Yes. I, did. I mean, I did. I won't. I wouldn't say I'm an expert yet, but I'm definitely more confident in just like painting in general and also in choosing colors and stuff because normally I would have just chosen like road brown, trees brown, sky blue, leaves green, which can work but not if you're me and know nothing, knew nothing about colors. So it was a lot of fun to choose like different colors, more interesting colors. If I ever paint again, which probably, then at least I have like a little pool of knowledge, very, very tiny, but still kind of a pool of knowledge where I can pick something from. But yeah, I learned color theory today. And by today, I mean in the past three weeks, because this took me way too long. I don't know what happened. But yeah, what, what do you think? Anyone wants to buy this for like three euros? Surely this will be worth um, one million at some point. Okay, I hope you had fun watching. I hope you had fun on this little learning journey with me. Who knew learning could actually be kind of fun? Go learn something yourself. It's worth it because then you know things and you don't have to cry when you start painting. I will see you guys in the next video, which I promise won't take over 20 days for me to upload. I am very sorry this took so long. <laughs> I am still alive. I'm still here and uh, I won't go anywhere. So I'll see you soon, I promise.